some of the stuff in this pail is stuff that my husband picked up when he went to the Dollar Tree with me. This is a collective haul over several different visits. I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. I almost can get my kitchen table cleaned off. A lot of the stuff in this pail is stuff that my husband picked up when he went to the Dollar Tree with me. This is a collective haul over several different visits that I just haven't showed you yet. I know he's gonna be asking for these. I see at least a couple items I bought in here, so I thought I'd better show you. The pail for one, a dollar and a quarter, you see me haul them quite a bit because I let my dogs chew them up. My goats get a hold of them. The wind carries them across the street <laughs> when they're in the yard, not when they're in the animal lot. But, but he got one of these. Let's see what's in this pail. I'm just going to dump it out. Because like I said, part of this stuff is mine. Some of it's his. I got tickled when he came to me. He said, got me a little hacksaw. Look at this hacksaw by T Tool Branch. He's not asked for it yet. I'm surprised. Maybe he forgot he had it. And they do work well. And for a dollar and a quarter for a little small, simple project, you can't beat it. One little hacksaw. He got an ice scraper. Driver's choice. Not quite sure why, because I know I've got plenty here that I bought on clearance, but he got one. Dollar and a quarter is still not bad. I think I bought a lot on clearance last year at Walmart, and I don't remember how much I paid for them. We're losing them all the time. We know we're getting springtime, so maybe he had a different idea for this one. They got one of those. I know I've had a rubber mallet at some time or another. But he got one. And for a dollar and a quarter, can't beat it. It's made real well. So put that in his bucket. And an eight and one multi use knife. Has scissors. Ooh, I may need to keep this. Knife, can opener, Phillips screwdriver, bottle opener, nail file, corkscrew. Flat screwdriver, eight and one. I may have to put that in my pocketbook. That's a good deal, a dollar and a quarter. It is. So he got one of those. Now I got some items that I got for me. Bath and Beauty, Cherry Blossom. It says it's a glycerin and vitamin E, refreshing, magnetic, fresh, Body wash for women. Cherry blossom. I know it. I think it's Bed Bath & Beyond. We get a lot of the cherry blossom products. But for a dollar and a quarter, you cannot beat it. It's made in Turkey. So that's for me. I figured springtime's here. I want to smell spring, don't you? I want to smell spring. These are rescue shots, and I thought this was a really good deal. There's three treatments in it. Intense rescue shots by Pantene. And I know you'd pay more than a dollar and a quarter in the store form. So with me working with my hair or fixing the do more with my hair, and I bought some other products. I thought this might be something I might want to try, too. I'm never much into using a lot of external products anymore, especially since I've gotten older. My hair really hasn't needed it until now. You know, it's in, been having its own little battle. So I thought I'd get some of that to try. Odor-resistant, non-scratch, Sponge, uh, 
odor resistant, non scratch sponge scrubber. Soft and warm water, firm and cold water by Scrub Buddies. I'm thinking my husband must have got that. I don't remember getting this one. So it must have been something he picked up the day we went. But Scrub Buddy is a good uh, brand. <coughs> Not even sure. I'm pretty sure you might can buy it at Walmart or somewhere. I just never do. I just get it at the Dollar Tree. And for a dollar and a quarter, that's not too bad. Or I don't think so. What else do we have here? Lone grain rice. Yeah, it's been a while since I bought this. And it is two pounds, and for a dollar and a quarter for two pounds, it's non-GMO, gluten-free, grown in the USA. I didn't think that was a bad deal. Someone had got one for the pantry. Because I do like a lot of rice and um, want to start doing more cooking with rice. Uh, the day I went, I was having coughing issues. Like I said, I've had these items for just a tad. And I've got had plenty of these at home, but not with me. Didn't wind up using it. I think Eli gave me a piece of his gum or something. But it's compared to Hall's Defense. Best uh, vitamin C dietary supplement. Hang on just a second. Is, it should be a cough drop. It was in with the cough drops. It's just saying it's a vitamin C supplement. I'm sure it's the cough drops. It's just not saying cough drops. But it has vitamin C in it. Best. 30 of them for a dollar and a quarter. So I still think that's a pretty good deal. Went ahead and bought another cheese garlic biscuit mix. We, Eli, especially Eli and I like these. They're good for the prepper pantry just for the fact all you have to do is add water. You don't have to worry about oil and eggs and all that. And this one's good till February of 23. Price wise, I can't really tell you. I've not compared it with anywhere else. It's 7.75 .7 ounces, makes six biscuits. Something new to me, gotta hide it for now, is the Kool-Aid gum. Tropical Punch, Cherry. Not sure what the other flavor. Tropical Punch, Cherry. Might be four different flavors in here. Kool-Aid. 20 pieces of gum. <coughs> I've not seen these before, have you? So I just got one. Because I use quite a bit of these, like in banana puddings and such, or just peanut butter and some vanilla wafers or just a vanilla wafer on its own, I bought some Bud's Best Cookies, seven ounces. And like I said before, they used to be eight ounces. And it might be I get a better deal somewhere else, but I was at the Dollar Tree. And I know these are good and they're bite size. Got some vanilla wafers. And they'll go in the pantry. And I use a lot of honey grams. Again, not sure if it's the bed, better deal. It's 9.6 ounces. It says Greenbrier Farms. Lately, I don't know if I've never paid attention or not. I seen something the other day that said Greenbrier something. <coughs> Greenbrier Farms. So I got one of those. I have a Swiffer thing here that goes on the floor and stuff. So I didn't have to buy the attachment that goes to this. Hang on one second. 
But I did want to get one of these to go on it, which I believe it'll fit. And if it doesn't, I'll go back and get the attachment. It's the microfiber duster mop pad. One thing you will not realize until you take carpet out of your house, how much cat hair, dog hair, dust bunnies that you have. No wonder people have allergies when they have carpet. And a lot of times, you know, I take the broom, of course, and then my broom collects all the dust bunnies and the cat hairs and all that at the bottom. But it still leaves a lot. And I thought with this, I could go back behind the broom and pick up remnants of it. So I'm going to try that out. I need to do some really, really, really deep cleaning. So I'll get around to it at some point. Uh, you heard Eli and I talk about these teddy bear cookies. These are the birthday cake cookies, bite size. There was eight in a pack, but he and Adeline cleared this one out before I could show it to you, which is fine. I just want, I kept it just so I could show you. The only thing about these little bags, you pretty much need scissors to open them or you rip them. They don't tear good at the preparation point. But they're very good cookie. I even enjoy them like for a snack. It's something you can keep in your car for the kids. There's 130 calories per little bag. But I bought you the big bag. Or I didn't buy you. Bought us the big bag of the birthday teddy bear cookies. They're 10 ounces, not individual bags. So I was gonna compare ounces. If I can find the ounces on the small one. I think it would tell you. Okay. There's eight ounces in the individual, 10 ounces. If you want two more ounces, you can get the big bag. But for the car, for us, when we're going places, it's just easier to go ahead and have them like this. But if you're inclined to, you can get the bigger bag and put them in little sandwich baggies. I got one of these for Omi. Don't know if I ever showed it to you. But when the girls come, um, Eli's hair is getting a little bit longer. I've been throwing out some really old brushes because it's something I don't always, uh, what do you call it? I don't always buy. I gave on me one. I forget what color. It's just a styling brush for a dollar and a quarter. And I know... Even at Walmart, you're not going to get it cheaper than that. And I like it because it has the softer bristles. It'll be good on the kids' hair. So I got one of those. Al, they had an Almay product, Smart Shade Concealer. It's a corrector called Deep Like Me. Fancy, is that? It's a new look. It says blend or reveal color, but I bought me one. And I know Al makes more expensive at Walmart. So I got one of those. Cause I'm really deep cleaning all the old makeup and old facial products I have and starting fresh. And this is a brow lash comb. I know by Cala. In Los Angeles, it's a USA product. And this is what the comb looks like. I know some of the uh, eyeliners and brow pencils will have these on the tip of them. But I thought it'd be kind of nice to have one of these combs, so I got one. And when summertime coming and stuff, yeah, I wash my back all the time anyway, but sometimes I feel like I need a really good scrub, and I bought me a back brush for myself. 
And if Omi needs one, I'll go back and get her one because I don't know if she needs one or not. But if she does, I'll get her one. I'm going to put all my new stuff for now for the bathroom after I get it out of the boxes and stuff. <laughs> yeah, don't have them even out of the boxes. I thought I'd show you this storage box. 3.38 quarts. Got a black lid, black bottom, clear. They have all kinds of storage containers. For $1.25, to me, it's still a good deal. It's like it's re kind of reinforced on the bottom. I, I just thought that it would be kind of neat to put all my new makeup and stuff in. Like I said, I'm getting rid of the O's, so I want to go ahead. Well, I can start right now, couldn't I? I know it's not out of the container, but I'll go ahead and put that in it. I'm going to go ahead and put my that in it. Of course, this will go in the, in the shower. One more item, a frivolous item. I've not been buying a whole lot of what I consider frivolous items, especially since they went up to a dollar and a quarter. It does make a difference. I'd rather buy stuff to be prepared in my house for food or uh, self-care, medical, and all that. But that doesn't stop me from buying some of the cute stuff, like the steaks. I bought this, couldn't pass it up, carriage patch. Carrot patch, pick your own, open daily. This is going to own me. Is that not cute? She needs some cheering up. She does. And I thought she can find a place to hang it. She can think up here on the, at the lake, uh, at the farm. Hobby farm, not a working farm. She says, I can't wait to get back to the lake. And I said, oh, Mama, I can't wait either. So I got her one of these that I'm going to take to her. Believe it or not. Got everything cleared off the table. Not cleared off, but shown. I hope you enjoyed this haul. It was a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of pantry, a little bit of bathroom, a little bit of omi, a little bit of yard. But there might be some items in there that you see that you might want to try. And it's like I said about these before. I get these, at, uh, the brand at the United Grocery Outlet, and I'm sure when I buy it, six or 12 pack, I probably get a little bit cheaper than a dollar and a quarter a piece, but for on the go and to have it quick, I think it's a pretty good deal, don't you? But when I'm at home, I've been making my pot full. Then I got my cold drinks here. So, until next time, we'll talk soon. Thank you.